This, you would know because it decided not to put the title on the menu screen. That was my vape falling over. This is Silent Nights. Silent. Silent Night. Silent Night. Played two games by this developer. Uh, there's something in the ice. And I can't remember the other one. Oh, abandoned, abandoned souls. Oh, abandoned souls. Yeah, which really wasn't a big fan of. I had pretty strong opinions of this developer and the games he makes. Uh, apparently Silent Nights, a short horror game with realistic graphics, touching storyline and scary moments. Like I said, apparently this is the... Or I think this is the first game he developed, so... We'll see, we'll see. That's the one, that's the dev. Good cutscene. My grandfather died two years ago. Grandmother had been very sad ever since, so I went to live in the village to visit her. Can I be electric too? Yeah, I wouldn't go in. Nope, not going in. Nah, -uh, not for me. Oh, I tried to move out of the way, forgetting that my chair was there and just whacked the back of my head. Ow. Silent Nights. Here it is. Grandma's house. As a child, I often came here for the weekend. You just wouldn't go in, would you? Is Grandma supposed to be still alive? Apparently something's been written down. My grandmother always expects a spare key. It's hidden under a small rock somewhere in the backyard. Of course it is. Wouldn't be a horror game if you didn't have to go around to the back of the house. Beautiful graphics though. I do think on the other two games by the dev that I played that the graphics were pretty good. I thought that one 3D rock would be... Ah, uh, maybe this one? Nope. Is this where I spend... Ah, uh, maybe... No. No. Well, surely she would put it next to the house, wouldn't she? This one's got a bright square on it. I don't think they're supposed to have bright squares on them. Any rock, any rock. There's definitely nothing on the porch. This is where I'm going to spend the majority of my time looking for a rock, isn't it? Don't tell me I was supposed to crouch down there. Grandma, 
I don't remember this door ever being open. Well, how the hell did you get in the garden? <sighs> ah, so it's not under a rock, it's next to a rock. Unless I touched that earlier and it moved, where if it did, I am stupid and I apologise. Use right mouse button. Why would I want to use right mouse button? She's electric. Ah. Nana, I'm home. A note from Grandma. This is Grandpa's lighter. He loved this lighter and always carried it with him. He always said he wanted to give it to you, Tom. Okay. I guess I'll take the lighter. I can't imagine what we're going to use the lighter for at any point. I don't know why I got the lighter out, but I did. Let's light some candles. I need to take off my backpack. It is very heavy. Well, that's better. Why, of course. Nothing changed here, and the smell takes me back to my childhood. I guess your childhood was shit then. That's all I can smell. Well, it's a mess. I should clean up the kitchen before Grandma gets back. She will be glad. Big trash. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, but... Are we assuming that Grandma is... Oh, I'm just literally walking over stuff. Okay. Do I pick up these rocks or? No. Even the table is the same place as many years ago. I remember writing a school essay on how I spent my summer here. I wrote about fishing and picking mushrooms with grandpa and helping something. I remember our walks in the great outdoors and spending cosy evenings with the grandparents reading books. They even helped me with this essay. Why isn't that just beautiful? Have, did I clean up? Have I finished the, the cleaning up? An old aquarium. When I was little, there was a lot of fish in it. They say that watching fish seems to calm you down. It, Apparently that's true. I like watching aquariums. You're not even going to do the dishes for your grandma? Should we have a pop upstairs? Need to clean the trash in the kitchen. Well, I'm trying to. But... Oh, okay. Why did... So there's only two things I can pick up. Can I pick this up? Oh, I can go upstairs now. Good grandson. I'm a good boy. I'm a very good boy. Use or release that uh, left mouse button. A ladder in the attic. As a child, I liked hiding there, but growing up, I would come to visit less than often. So my grandparents started stories, uh, storing all sorts of rubbish, of, of rubbish there. 
I wonder what's in these boxes. Probably grandfather's stuff. Grandpa, Grandma brought them up here herself. God, Lady of Steel. Why is it squelchy? Grandpa's old tools and other stuff. Wow, these are the soda cans that I left last time I came up here. Is that like noises from my memory or? So there's nothing to do up here. Why is it so squelchy? She's electric. My grandmother's really eccentric. The old fireplace. As a child, I used to love sitting here reading books while it was raining outside. Damn skip, I did. Grandmother's room. I can't imagine how cold and sad she must feel sleeping here alone now that grandfather is gone. What was that horrible breathing noise? I'm glad that I'm lighting all the candles. All off my own will. Who was that ghastly thing a breathing in my ear? The guest room. I always slept in this room when I came over. Good golly, Miss Molly. It's got to be all the cam candles now, right? I'm a little tired. I need some rest and wait for grandmother to return. I need. I think the sofa on the ground floor looks perfect. Uh, what do you reckon? Fall asleep, wake up, and it's night time? Nana's not home? What happened to my candles? <clears throat> wow, I don't even have a flame. What is that? What is what? What are you looking at? I'll light all these again. Are you joking me? Paranormal activity. She's electric. My lord. Is that coming from upstairs? Oh, I didn't even go in here before. I miss this room. I'll be you and you. I need to light these candles. I thought it had a cat purr and it's not, it's just the rain. I need to light the candles, keep everything nice and Nice and bright. Oh, it's a TV. Come here, I'll come here. Oh, I didn't read what I said, I was too... Uh, I was too into the uh, lighting of the candle. Nana wants me to come here. 
I feel like with all the candles that I'm lighting, Granny, are you back? Well, that one stayed alight. Granny? A note. I cannot sleep without you. When I lie down in bed, I check to see if you are next to me. Maybe you're lying and reading your favourite book. But when I put my head where you used to sleep, I understand that you are no longer next to me. Then I start to cry and howl and I can't stop. In such moments, I go out for a walk and look at the moon because it reminds me of you and our evening walks. I miss you so much. My God, Grandma, I'd only known you were so sad. Okay, evening walk should be good for you. It's raining so hard here. I hope you are on your way home. Okay, while I'm waiting, I'll go grab something to eat. What, two o'clock in the morning? I'm no longer that hungry. Uh, what? And peaches and cereal, that's what I need. When Grandma comes back, I'll... something. Oh, I didn't see what it said. What the? I hear noises. Oh, is that this radio? Oh god, that's hard to read. I love to dance. God, how much we love to dance. I remember the first time you asked me to dance. Our favourite song was playing the song we later chose to dance at our wedding. I so badly want to dance with you just one more time. I want to hug you and for you to hug me. I want to lay my head on your chest again. I want to feel your scent and your touch, my love. How very cute. I want to eat, my stomach is growling. Is that all you can think about? My God, there's someone upstairs. Let's go see who it is. Grandma, did you climb through the window? She didn't climb through the window. Oh, it won't let me go up. Oh, hello, sausage. What the hell was that? It was a camera glitch. I don't know why you saw it with your eyeballs. I miss the way you watch TV at night. I've always been mad at you. But now I'd give anything to hear you watch it, to hear your footsteps when you go down to, to the kitchen to eat at night, and how you would snore falling asleep. I miss the feeling when you would... Come to bed in the middle of the night. You'd lie down and hug me so lightly. You never wanted to wake me up, but I would wake up and I'd wake up anyway and smile. How I cherish those moments. It was always so warm and cozy. It's so quiet here without you. Quiet and cold. It's very sad. As I read these notes, my eyes started to well with tears. I also love my grandfather very much and my grand. Mother, I love so oh, I lost my appetite. I'll take a shower and go outside. I'll look for Grandma if she's not back. Oh no, the power went out, probably because of the rain. I'm scared of messing up electricity. I won't try to fix it. I'd better look for candles instead. I have. I've lit the candles. Can you not see? Candles are lit, my guy. Oh, that guest room's locked. That's weird.
Candles are very truly lit. Is there one over here? I don't think so. I'm so glad he doesn't want to... Turn... Not an electrician. Oh, look. That doesn't look scary, does it? I've cleaned myself with my lighter. Oh, Grandma, is that you? Grandmother. 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 Mother. Grand. Grandmother. Grandmother. Where are you hiding, you sneaky little cherub? Grandmother! Do we dare go upstairs? Oh, this is a bad idea. Grandmother? 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 Oh, thank God for that. I thought I'd lost my lighter then. Oh. Yeah, let's keep this candle on, shall we? And this one. Do we dare check the old uh, spare room again? Nope, spare room's locked still. Guessing it's at the front of the house? Grandmother, grandmother, grandmother. Grandmother. I was just in the shower. Grandmother. God, I hate how dark that shower is. Uh, I guess I'll just walk around until she scares me. Oh, he locked the door. Are you there? Are you okay? Why did you close the door? Okay, I'll make you some tea. Would you not be concerned that she's just blatantly ignoring us? His grandma crying do I carry on making tea or do I see if grandma's okay <sighs> since you've been here for a full day and a half a night are you here is everything all right I hear you crying She's electric. See how I turn with my back to things. 
Oh. What happened there? Sounds like something has fallen down on the floor. What, over here or upstairs again? Is Grandpa haunting us, Grandma? Back upstairs again, I guess. Ahem. Well, the door's open now. Grandma, what's happened here? What's that green stuff on the bed? I guess, oh look, there's something there. I can't live without you, my love. I'm mad at myself, mad at everyone. Sometimes, out of anger, I start to smash everything around me. I destroy everything, just as I destroyed our lives. You die because of me. It's all my fault. Oh God, Grandma blames herself for Grandpa's death, but it's not her fault. I'm worried about Grandmother. I need to find her as soon as possible and talk to her. Oh, someone's knocking. What? Someone's knocking on the door. This door? She... Electric. Grandmother's rear. I need to check if the door is closed and see if anyone's there. It's locked. Are we not going to question what that was? or So I check this door. Nice toilet. No noties, noties from grandmothers. Oh shit, Grandpa! Is that a note there? Is that the only thing you can say? <laughs> you loved hiding things so much. I was very mad at you because of this. You even hid my dishes, and when the guests came, I couldn't find anything. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I fought with you over such petty things. I wish I could turn back time and laugh about it. When I was little, my grandfather liked to hide my toys under the cupboard, sometimes even under his pillow. Okay. So Grandpa was a bit of a dick. Can I eat my peaches now? I like peaches. I like cream. I am captain of my team. When can I come in? When can I go in the guest room? Where are we going? What are we doing and why are we doing it? Do I check upstairs? Grandpa? I don't know if I'm looking for Grandpa or Grandma. Grandpa? Or does he want me to check under the pillow? That's what he was trying to say. Is that what they were insinuating? Ah, it was. Okay, let's find Grandma outside. Ooh, Grandma. You're still inside, you fucking asshole. Oh, 
I wonder if that's for the back door. It's just a local nun coming to say hello. I can't use it for some reason. Hello? There must be another door somewhere. Oh, I found another door and it wouldn't open. Is it the spare room? Because... One, I've already been in there. And two, it wasn't locked earlier. Which is kind of the same thing. But I'm still going to make it two. I'm still going to make that two points. I didn't forget about this door. I've checked it about five times. Right, who's in here? Who's in my bed? So, what's the point in coming in here? Oh, another key. What is that sound? Oh, mannequin. A disappearing mannequin. Oh, I forgot I need a flashlight. It's too dark and rainy outside the house. Where's that strange sound coming from? It's too dark outside. I need a flashlight. Oh, where is that coming from? It's coming from upstairs again, isn't it? Oh, here we go again. Is that up upstairs in the attic? Oh god, it sounds horrible. Oh god. We're blatantly gonna die. Oh, I can see something moving up there. Oh, it's you again, the nun. Kind of weird I didn't... That's better. Now I'm going to take it... Take the raincoat. And I'm ready. Considering all the weird shit that's going on, this guy... He... Use flashlight. Flashlight is being used. This guy is very calm. Need to get my raincoat before I step out into the rain. I'll catch a death. Raincoat. Hello, Georgie. A little it reference there for you. Well, I'm ready. Are you ready? How the hell did we get here? Road closed. Hmm, I think Grandma went the other way. The only way. Wait, was that? What was that even? <laughs> what is that? What are those lights? Do we go that way? <laughs> oh, what was that? Is that a light? I didn't even know much torch was working. It was so crap. 
What is that? Is that another house? Oh, I can't light any candles. Come here, I'm coming. Cabin in the woods. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's you again. Oh, it's you again. It's like she's playing... Oh, a ladder appears. As if... Oh, you're behind the sofa. Wait a minute, what's this? What on earth is this on the floor? I can't... I can't do anything. I don't know if I'm supposed to... Oh god, I'm, I'm dead. Nope. Bear with me, creepy demon. Let me just work out this ladder. Can I crouch or... Workers. You. Here. What? Am I supposed to pick this up? Because I can't. Maybe if I walk down a bit. Ah, oh, there you go. I need to get back on the trail. Well, if you find a creepy map left by a creepy woman in a creepy cabin in the creepy woods, why wouldn't you follow it? Can I look at the creepy map that I found in the... Okay. You. Well, if you know how to follow that, let me know. I mean, I'm guessing I go straight down to the workers and then up to the question mark. Okay, that's the workers. Hey, Paddy. Hello. <laughs> How you doodling? So, I'm guessing this is the workers, I assume. What, do I just go... What? This is the way I went the first time. It's okay. It's a lot of wandering. It is a bit creepy. I'm looking for my grandma. I've been to her house. And she wasn't there. So I've done the, you know, the usual. Go to sleep until it's dark. And then wander wander the woods so I know nothing about looking for her. And I thought I was being haunted by my grandpa. And then I thought I was being haunted by my grandma. But now it seems that a weird creepy nun is after me. So... Right, where are we at? I'm guessing. Construction works. I need to ask the workers if they've seen Grandma. There's going to be no one here. Who's going to be here? Oh, there's someone. Oh God, who was that? 
boss it began to rain heavily and we decided to go to the nearest cafe to eat and wait it out p.s just now we saw a lonely grandmother she walked through the forest and went towards that strange totem we asked her if we could take her home but she did not answer oh strange totem grandma do i keep going this way or i guess i don't maybe i do well on my map it says workers doesn't it so I'm guessing it's... Let me have a look. Oh, okay. I was here. I went... Uh, so... What direction do I go? Oh, I was... Uh, you... Gone down. Now I need to go... Like, back up? Yeah, that way. She's electric. My grandmother's quite eccentric. And she's wasting my time. Oh, there's a cat. Don't often hear that in a horror game. A shrieking cat. Seems to be some kind of angry frog behind me. Ah, oh, this is where Grandma. Why is everything sideways? Grandma? 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 I thought there'd be a note there. Oh, there it is. The legend of the sp the legend of the spirit of the forest. There is an old legend among the locals about the spirit of the forest, which helps people lost in the forest to find their way home. But in order for the spirit for the forest to agree to help, you need to give him something. It is said that the spirit of the forest loves fresh fruit. Well. Maybe grandma went to find some fresh fruit. I think I saw apples somewhere. I didn't even see what that was. I didn't come this way, so... Why am I going this way? Is that a light on over there? Should I have found the apples? Oh, is this back to the worker place? Oh, they're the apples. Well, how the hell did I f see them? I've not been here before. What the hell is that? Oh, and bread. Forest. Just ask the spirit of the forest and he will show you the way home. Do I have to take it all the way back to the totem? Do I? 
Am I doing the right thing? I don't think I am. I'm not going to do that. I'm not taking this apple all the way back. I'm going to have a look around this creepy building. I'm going to take an apple with me, actually. What is this place? I have an apple. Don't mess with me. Caution, crime scene. Do not enter. Well, I'm in. Oh, a toy. I want the toy, but I don't want to drop my apple. Do not enter. Or what? I want the toy. Did someone lock the door? Oh, there's someone over there. Oh, an axe and a thing. Oh, it's her again. Crazy nun lady. Hello? Yeah. Uh, are you drunk? I don't think I'm drunk. Am I drunk? Oh, this is open now. I see, I see, I see. What's in here? Whisper, whisper. I see you. Sp spider nun, spider nun, does whatever a spider nun does. I can't read what it says. He told me to kill them. I hear his whispers. He al he always hungry. He told me to kill them. I hear his whispers. He always hungry. Oh, there's a dead body down there. I didn't even notice. Oh my, this is insane. A killer, really? Oh, look, another. I need to find my grandma and get out of this creepy forest. I'd kind of concentrate on getting out of this building first. You know what I mean? Oh, I can get out now. I'm going to take some fruit back to the totem man. She's electric. Not bread, but fresh old fruit. You better not want all four apples, because I kind of lost one. Oh, flickering light tells me where to go. Someone dropped their torch. I always think when you see buildings like that in a game that that's kind of especially with the toy and the torch being there is that kind of like the developer creating something for a different game or trying something out or did he try and create something else and he's just used that building you know I don't even know if this is the right thing to do. That lamp wasn't there. Who eats that loudly? I don't care if you are a forest god. No need for it. Th 
through the woods. Here we go. Oh, this is the forest guy showing me the way. I think this is a bad idea. I think this is a really bad idea. Is that a path? Follow the yellow brick road. Grandma's crying. I found my grandma. She was sitting by the lake crying and freezing all alone. I immediately ran up to her. I put my jacket on her shoulders and said... Everything is fine. Everything will be okay. Ev Grandma, let's go home. <laughs> Silent nights. Amica games. That was a good game. I tell you what, if that came out and that was his first game, which I think it is, that was good. It was creepy, it had a good story. I didn't really like the kind of movie cutscene thing at the end that could have made you know, I could have just walked up to grandma. But that was good. So that kind of makes the other two games that came out afterwards even more so disappointing if that makes sense and i know it sounds like i'm being really harsh but the other two left me so you know they had so much promise and so much potential that the fact that he could make something like that on his first attempt kind of you know i would have been looking forward to the next project and expecting so much more for the next one but i don't know i mean i've spoken about this developer before i'm not gonna i'm not gonna badger on if you want to know what i said what's the other games i played i think it's uh something in the ice and abandoned souls i talk about it when i played them but that one was good that was a good that was a good game I liked it. 